Hi. Um, so a few weeks ago, I bought my Fender Stratocaster. Uh, that one right there uh, with a 70s headstock and it's kind of you know something a little different between the 70s stuff and the metal stuff and the you know all that kind of stuff so I'm for, for the past two or three years I've been looking into um, trying to buy uh, a rare Fender Stratocaster or maybe a Telecaster. Um, I don't like the most common ones like the you know the American Standard and Mexican Standard you know all that kind of stuff. I'm looking into a more you know some kind of um, more expensive guitar um, as maybe that one around 1200 bucks or so I'm looking into something more expensive than that so um, that's when I was thinking about the custom shop models well of course but then you gotta find a dealer uh, you gotta find a, a dealer that that uh, managed to take custom shop orders for the Fender uh, custom shop factory and you know the the custom shop guitar is all hand built so I think that would probably take about six seven eight months or so well that could be interesting but mm, well no I'm looking for um, a brand new rare Fender uh, Stratocaster or Telecaster uh, that's when I came across the the flathead series well, they are not very, very expensive, but they are very rare guitars. I've been looking for the past year or so. I, I can't manage to find a, 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 a Telecaster. Uh, I think the Telecaster is kind of cooler than the Strat or um, anything like that. So, it's been a year now. I can't find a... A, f uh, a flathead it's impossible I actually found um, I don't know what it was as uh, I think it was a uh, I think it was on eBay I found uh, a Stratocaster flathead uh, I think they I think it was about 2,000 bucks or maybe 2,500 bucks or something like that mm, I'm not really into Stratocaster flatheads. I'm thinking more about the Telecaster, and that's impossible to get. So, um, so I'm more or less not into that anymore because I know I will not um, find anyone for a decent price. Um, I think uh, the flathead was manufactured for I think maybe a couple of years, maybe back in 2009 or something like that. Um, so I'm looking for a guitar may maybe similar to that one right over there uh, with a, a cutaway for the uh, on the neck plate and uh, I'm, I'm thinking about you, you know the looking like the deluxe models uh, with the yeah with the cutaway on the neck plate so you can reach the frets more easy I'm looking for a 70s headstock right there not necessarily a, a bullet uh, but a 70s headstock and I'm also looking for um, ebony fretboard and that's not very common on a fender so I'm not really sure how to manage this but I think I I actually found something very very rare um, I'm not going to tell you very much about it at this point because I need to do some research myself first but I actually talked to the guy uh, I, I talked to him a couple of um, times now in this is actually a guitar that really never was manufactured it, it 
well, it has a serial number, of course, and uh, I think there is maybe about four or five of those guitars. Uh, he, the, the, the owner doesn't really uh, know where the other guitars are, but uh, I think I think that uh, he said that there is four or five of these out there somewhere. Uh, they were manufactured in the in the in the Fender factory um, back in 2012, I think. So this is kind of cool. I don't know. Well, I know these guitars exist, but I haven't really done any research or something like that. And there is uh, actually a famous uh, musician involved in the. Uh, um, in the creating of this kind of model that is kind of similar to that one right over there. So this is going to be cool and I don't know the price of this guitar but uh, um, I assume it's not going to be cheap. Um, so I think I need to uh, you know get rid of some stocks or maybe win the lottery or something like that because if I like the guitar, I'm sure going to get it in somehow. I don't know, but so that that's what's going on right now. I'm doing some research about that. Um, meanwhile, of course, I, I play the Strat over there. It, it's a it's a actually a great guitar. It's uh, one of the. I think it's. I, I think this guitar is probably. Uh, one of the best guitars I have right now, uh, except from except from my Gibson Les Paul, of course, it's a great guitar as well. But man, this guitar is awesome. Um, the neck is super flat, straight. Um, the fret the the frets are 110 percent in leveled. Um, super super low string action. It. This is this is very very super awesome I tell you. So I'm looking for something similar to that guitar but different. So well um I think I've got something as I said. Um I will dig into it a little bit deeper. Uh, I have some great uh, contacts when it comes to rare guitars, um, so I will have to see what I can dig up. So yeah, that's what's going on right now uh, about the guitars and that kind of stuff. I got a lot of guitars, so I I have guitars to to use, but it's always cool to have these rare ones. So. That is not a rare guitar, but it's a great guitar. So, great and rare guitars, that's what I'm looking for. I gotta go now, so take care. Bye!